Prostate cancer is one of the more common diseases that we treat and one of the more common diseases in oncology in general. It affects more than 200,000 men yearly in the United States and one in seven men over the course of their lifetime will develop this disease. If you are diagnosed with prostate cancer or you have an elevated PSA, oftentimes the first step is to be referred to a urologist Will they work you up with certain tests and possibly a biopsy. If the biopsy does show prostate cancer, oftentimes you're going to have many different options and I encourage all patients to go to a place that has a multidisciplinary approach to prostate cancer where patients are seen not only by a radiation oncologist but also by a urologist where we can tailor the treatment to the individual's best needs. Also what we do is we have a multidisciplinary tumor conference that meets monthly where we present some of the more complicated cases where we have radiation oncologists, urologists, medical oncologists, pathologists, radiologists. There are 30 doctors in a room where we discuss each case individually to come up with a tailored plan. So what is CyberKnife? Um, this fantastic technology consists of a regular linear accelerator, a radiation machine has been miniaturized and placed on a robotic arm. So the advantage of it is it's intelligent. And in contrast to our other radiation machines, we're on something called a gantry, which means it moves in a circle like a record player. This technology has a shoulder, an elbow, a wrist, and fingers. So we're able in real time to aim the radiation beam at hundreds of different angles while giving a higher dose of radiation to the cancer or the prostate in this situation and much lower doses of radiation to the normal anatomy. We're able to avoid the rectum, we're able to avoid the bladder, things that we can't do with the older forms of technology. Side effects are pretty minimal, some urinary frequency, maybe a little bit of rectal urgency, there's no pain, there's no cutting, and you get back to your lives in a week or less. And that's the advantage, I think, compared to some of the other forms of treatment. CyberKnife's completely outpatient. It's five days, again, with no cutting, no incisions, and I think it's equivalent to surgery without having the side effects associated with surgery. There's no incontinence, there's less impotence compared to other forms of radiation, and again, you're back to your life very, very quickly. Mind you, we don't discourage surgery, quite the opposite. We feel strongly that every patient should seek multiple opinions, and one of the things that we feel incredibly strongly about it is that you have a multidisciplinary approach to your care. Every patient that I see is also seen by our surgeons and our general urologists. If a patient wants to have surgery, that's a great treatment if it's indicated. If they want to have cryotherapy, that may be a great treatment. Sometimes we recommend no active treatment and we have a very robust active holistic surveillance program. So again, don't go to a center where they're forcing you into one therapy. Go to a center where we're kind of all inclusive. We want you to have a variety of choices so that we can help you tailor the best choice for you with you as an equal part of the treatment team. We are among the largest sites in the world and the largest site in the country for treating prostate cancer with CyberKnife. We've treated thousands of men over the past 10 years. We lecture, we publish, we're what's called a reference site. So when doctors from around the world want to come to learn CyberKnife, they're sent to us for training. We publish our data, we lecture. I think it's important to go to a center that has a lot of experience that publishes their outcome and trains other doctors how to do CyberKnife. We're the only center both in Manhattan and Long Island with this technology and we think it's a fantastic place to come because you're going to come to the doctors that teach others, that publish. Um, in addition, we're also going to encourage you to meet with our specialists for the different other types of treatments for prostate cancer as we talked about. Surgery, cryotherapy, active holistic surveillance. You're not going to come and be forced into one treatment, quite the opposite. We want to open your eyes so you see all kinds of treatment for prostate cancer and feel that you explored all your options before you make a decision. I also want to point out that this technology is not only for prostate cancer, it's for brain tumors, for lung tumors, for pancreatic tumors. We also opened up and treated uh, over 50 patients now with breast cancer with CyberKnife. We published a paper looking at these patients and rather than treating over six long weeks, we were able to accelerate the radiation down to five days. So patients were again able to get back to their life for breast cancer. I think that the technology is fantastic. I think with our experience and the fact that we use it for many different diseases, if you come to us be treated, you're gonna be in the best hands.